Hello guys, the Dinosaur 64 here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale Darkness. In the last episode, we uh did the three things of telecasting and we're watching this girl saying you're special. Yeah. <laughs> uh I just recorded this literally right after I just finished the other recording, the last episode, so this has been going on for thirty seven minutes. I'm looking forward to a tasty victory. Yeah, my victory, buddy. Well, maybe his, because I'm kind of sucking at these kind of things. Quillfish and Combuskin. That's a unique po Those are unique Pokemon you have there. Quillfish can die, but Combuskin is... Combuskin. Combuskin man. Combuskin man. Do combusting up like a Combuskin can? I, I don't know. But either way, Earthquake will kill them both. Depends if Drill Pet kills Combuskin, which it will. Because unfortunately, even though Blazekin's so freaking awesome, it can't survive flying moves, unfortunately. Unless it had bulk out. Milk tank. Oh my god! What's with the milk tanks? Uh, that does a reasonable amount of damage. Are you kidding me right now? Urgh. Earthquake would have been perfect, too. Oh well, at least I can heal it off, but come on, man. I'm gonna use Drill Pick on the milk tank, and I'm gonna heal... Um, you, bro, because both these Pokemon can't really hurt me that much. Unless they had, like, some kind of weirdo, dark, or ghost move. I could maybe Quillfish, but I know milk tank doesn't get any. Unless it has Hidden Power Ghost. And, uh, it probably doesn't. The fact remains... Quillfish is still trying to kill me with the Water Pulse. But, failing. And this should do... I think this should... I think Earthquake should not do a fair amount of damage to Quillfish and take out the... Actually, maybe it won't take out Milk Tank. Oh crap, roll out. That's gonna kill Pharaoh. Oh, if he was using it on Pharaoh, but apparently he's too stupid to realize that, hey, a flying type is weak to rock. But ghost type can get KO'd by a critical hit, that, which is stupid. Okay, um, jeez, uh, well, body. Send out the Game Breaker. Okay, well, Drill Pick the Quillfish and Psychic the Mill Tank. Because Mill Tank can't survive that. A Stab Psychic from an Espeon. If it survives... Okay, good, it didn't. Mill Tank could survive it at full health, but... Could, probably couldn't. But it, it, there was no way he was going to survive that, let's be honest here. Unless, of course, it had, like, some kind of ridiculous ability. Grumpig. Okay, Grumpig could be a problem. Especially since I lost my best tank for that thing. Like, come on. Sludge Bomb. That does about half. Okay, well, you know what? On this turn... I'm gonna not switch. I'm going to revive my precious, precious little Dusk. Uh, my br I'm gonna revive Broke, okay? And I'm gonna Psybeam the Quillfish, because Quillfish is Quillfish, and it killed my Dusclops. Uh, so go away, you. Stupid prick. <laughs> Eh, Breloom. Future Sight. Okay. Drill Pick the Breloom, and I guess... Fight the Grump Pig. Chomp. Eh, it does about half. But this will KO that Breloom. I don't get it. Why is it that they're... Okay. Aside from Verzeon 
and Chestnut, and Breloom, obviously. Why are there no other grass fighting types? They need more grass fighting types, honestly. Although, with the with the appearance of Chestnut, then I feel like they're gonna add more. So, that is something worth noting. Maybe. In, like, next, maybe next generation? I don't know, generation 7? Eh, who knows? Regardless, Grumpy goes down with the count. And, uh, we are gonna go, um, to the little gym. Losing doesn't take, losing doesn't taste very good at all. Yeah. You did KO a Pokemon, so that is something, you no. Know. Down with the pill we go! Alright, now we get money and we also get TM22, which I can't remember for the life of me what that is. And, uh, Growlithe's ready to be purified, and so is Beedrill. Jeez, there's like a bunch of Pokemon ready to be purified, but let's see, what was T TM22? Oh, that's Solar Beam. See, do I have Toxic at all? No, I don't. Okay, well, who learns Giga Drain? I think nobody can learn it. Yep, nobody can learn it. Well, can anybody learn Solar Beam? Nope. Not even Camera? Seriously? Um, what a Brick Break. Can anyone learn that? Zapron can, but... Maybe not. Uh... I have so many useful TMs, but I can't teach them to anybody. Eh. Although I... Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait a minute. I just saw something. I saw an item. I saw an item. I need to get that item. I don't have to, but, but I want to. Mostly because it's an item. You can't go wrong with that. So, let's get the item. It, it was like way over here. Ultra Ball. A single Ultra Ball. Worth it! <laughs> uh, not really. Mm. But anyways, now let's go to that little town and do that little gym stuff thing. I'm only gonna do it once, because doing it for the entirety of the episodes would be... What, even more tediously boring to watch? I don't know. Besides, I only think there's one to do anyway. Phoenix City, that's what it was called. I'm gonna go, then I'm gonna go purify some Shadow Pokemon. The music here is so relaxingly calm, I love it. The music in this game is, I need to get the OST for this game. I already have Mayor B song, but like, I wanna get the other OST. All right. Okay, first trainer. I don't think these are gonna be any hard because by the time you were supposed to do this, your team should have been at least like the 16, at, like, uh, like a, like near 20s or anything above level 10. Yeah, because see, these Pokemon are like pre-evolutions and like. Are not a threat at all. So, uh. Yeah, it's mid 20s. You're supposed to have your Pokemon at the mid 20s by then. Eh, uh, but who cares? Easy experience for me. Uh, yeah, but like I said, I'm only gonna do this once, then I'm gonna purify some Shadow Pokemon, and I think I'll end off the episode there. I think it's been a fairly short recording, actually. Depends on how these battles go. But wow, broke you slow, man. I know you have the slowest speed, but I mean, come on, man. Grumpit, Spoink's not that fast either. I figured you could outspeed it, but I guess not. Uh, now I can kill that Blossom with everything. Blossom goes down. Oh, very, very, very nice. It's very, very simple. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Oh uh, yeah, th these trainers don't say anything for some reason. There are three more opponents. I 
So it's basically essentially the closest. It's a. So wait, is this like a. A lower tier version of an Elite Four match? You fight four random trainers, then you go on to the final one? Or unless the fourth trainer is just. is the final trainer. So. Some floor and fur it. Well. They're fully evolved, but too bad they suck. Oh, the fur could have speed broke. There's no question about that. Like, at all. Fly noon. Stupid screensaver. Go away. Double team. Quick. That should ca that should do a fair amount of damage to both of them. Oh, KO's Lie Noon. I thought for some reason it would it would KO anyone. Oh, KO's fur too. Okay, that saves time. I know I'm over leveled, but I think I thought they would survive it with like a little bit of health, but I guess not. Broke is such a beast, defensive wise. Actually, come to think of it. Oh no no wait never mind. Um, I think Broke's the second bulkiest Pokemon I've ever used in any Pokemon team of any of my Let's Plays. The number one would be Dragonite, obviously, since Dragonite is such a beast in Blaze Black. Um, I don't think I used any bulky Pokemon in Dragon Ruby. Oh no, I did! I Cradilly, there. Eh. Cacleon and Osumoral. Those two ROM packs were my favorite, honestly. I like those two games. Dragon Ruby and Blaze Black, definitely games you gotta have. Okay, let's see, uh... Hmm. I'm gonna drill pick Cacleon, and then I'll Shadow Ball the... Wait. Do I have, like... No, I don't. I don't think I do anyway. Oh, sweet critical hit. Heckleon goes down. Very nice. Indeed. Yanma. Okay, so it's probably best I did go with Earthquake. Will Zoomerul survive a Shadow Ball? The answer to that question is no. Okay, this is the third trainer, I believe. And she, uh... Uh, oh, not she, he... I, I, for some reason, thought we were fighting the girl from the last time, for some reason. My Pokemon are getting high or leveled, except for Camera Up. Poor Camera Up. <laughs> or Fuji, I should say. Okay, so this is the third trainer, and I think the fourth one will be the final one, or the next, or is it gonna be, like, five? So it... In that case, it would be like the Elite Four kind of thing. Yep, it's just, it's like an Elite Four kind of thing, except it's nowhere near as strong as an Elite Four, so... I'm just comparing the battle, like the battle style, I mean, like, you fight four trainers, then you fight the final fifth trainer. It's like an Elite Four kind of thing, except you don't beat the game, obviously. Heck, if I could beat the game by just doing this, then, like, I'd be done, like, like 20 episodes ago, maybe. Uh, I'm just gonna Earthquake everything. Mine can't survive. I was just kind of worried about static. Okay, no, apparently they don't have it. Absol. Too bad Absol doesn't get Mega Absol yet. Unfortunately. Avoided the- oh, you used like some weird move. You used like a uh, double team I think? I can't, I can't remember what he just did. But regardless, I'm gonna KO this thing. I said I'm gonna KO- Oh no, don't tell me you're gonna do this to me. 
Don't make me switch into Espeon. Oh, come on! Okay, just get KO'd already! Please, you're getting in my way. Thank you. Okay. That was a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Just a little bit. Just, just a little. I don't know. I don't know what the frick that was. Uh. But anyways, that was the last trainer. Now we fight Justy himself. I think. Alright. Try Gym Leader Justy. Check me on Sand Slash. Uh, some kind of Sandstorm team. Thank God he doesn't have Tyranitar. Like, seriously, if he had Tyranitar, I'd be screwed. Although, I think this Sand Slash could survive a Shadow Ball. Because it's, a little, it's near 30, and it could. And it, Sand Slash is a little bit bulky. So. Probably can. Let's find out. As soon as he sends out his Vigar. Ah, uh, that depends if Shadow Ball hits. Please hit. Okay. And oh, that does half. Okay, Drill Pick, Gligar, and I guess we'll try Shadow Balling again. Let's see. Gligar doesn't survive. Spike Bolt. Little bulk, but hey, it's bulk nonetheless. Dose pass. Oh no, it's a double team. I hate a massive. I hate that move, honestly. I hate double team so much. And broke, you are. Wow. Thank you for hitting. Seriously, broke, you just saved me so much time. Uh, like seriously. So, uh, earthquake. I, I'm gonna, I'm just using. I want to use. Well, mostly because I have no choice. Both of my moves are hit. If I switch out in this kind of battle, then that would just be kind of lame. So just earthquake the nose pass. And I've, and something I noticed, like, whenever a Pokemon uses earthquake, all the everything disappears. Like all the trainers disappear, and the Pokemon that aren't affected by earthquake. Or already got hit by Earthquake, disappear as well. You ever notice that? Like when. And what did he give me? He gave me. Limeberry, NTM 32. Or not Lime, Lumberry. What's 32? What is that? Pfft, double team. I knew it was something like that, but I didn't think it would be double team. Eh. I don't know. Oh wait, there's this- Oh crap, I forgot about this place's Coliseum. Dang it. But is it worth it? Uh, I don't know. But anyways, let's just go back to HQ Lab and just purify the Shadow Pokemon I need to purify. And then I'll end off the episode and start another one, probably. So much things are delaying us from going to the final area, and I apologize for that. I really am. Yeah, 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 you know Pokemon are ready to be purified. Let's purify! We haven't done that in, like, what, years? Nose Pass! It's ready to be purified. Alright, then. Oh, stupid screensaver! Anyways, we purified the shadow and nose pass. Let's see. Open the door to its heart! Thunderbolt? Wow. Helping hand, okay. Give a nickname. I got a ribbon. Now give a nickname. Okay. Um, I want to call this thing. Uh, uh, 
How do I... Okay. I'm gonna call this thing... Mario, because it looks... Uh, it kind of looks like Mario when, a polio, when it's, uh... When it, uh... You know what I mean. You know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. I hope you know what I'm talking about, because even I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, Shelter's ready to be purified. Very, very, very nice. It's very, very simple. I don't know. Take down. Okay. Refresh. Okay. Give nickname to Shelter. I'll call you, um... Mostly because I can't think of anything, and well, I don't really care what I name these guys, since I'm not using them on my team, but I'm going to call you Pearl. Alright, next Pokemon, I think it's Paris, okay. Alright then, Paris it is. Alright, let's see. Spore, of course. Get refresh too. Alright. I'll call you... Let's see, what could I call you? Uh... Well, like I said before, I don't really care what I name these things as long as I just name them. Whatever. Toadstool, I guess. Next Pokemon. It is Growlithe. And I think the next Pokemon after that is like... Uh... I can't remember. <laughs> uh... Wow, none of these Pokemon are super effective against each other. Like, wow. Oh, wait, now that I have Growlithe, I can actually just switch it up, can't I? Got Flamethrower and Charm. Yeah, Growlithe's one of those Pokemon you always want to have, like, seriously. For some reason, my friends are, like, some of my friends off of Skype are, like, saying, like, Oh, like, uh, Growlithe's Arcanine sucks, because, like, bleh. it's like, come on, seriously? B trail, that was it. I thought it, it, it was like something. I thought it was like some kind of like weird dark type of some kind. All right then. Uh, let's see. Open the door to its heart. Got sludge bomb and baton pass. Ton passing B drill, swords dance. I'm pretty sure it gets iron defense from one of its pre evolutions. And oh yeah, this this is gonna I got this is kind of a like my own kind of reference thing. I'm gonna call this guy. Let's see. Captain Sting. The pi he's gonna be the the uh, king of the pirates. Maybe. Maybe tried. Edit. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, Pidgeotto. Okay, that's at full. That's ne nowhere near at full. Let's see. Um. Let's put Growlithe somewhere. Okay, this one could work at full capacity if I did this. Wait, what? Oh, stir! It's not a friggin' thing. Dang it! Ground super effective. We have poison. Okay, I gotta think of this. Uh, hold on. Hmm. Do I have a water... Any other Pokemon? Hmm. Uh... 
should be it. Um, I think I'm done here. Uh, I got all these, like, switched up, and I've, uh, yeah, I put in, um, Weeping Bell here, Arbok there, um, Tangula, Primeape, and Hypno. I will switched up, I put, a uh, Bell Toy here instead. So now, it should be going a little bit faster than it would normally, so... Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna end off the episode here. So, uh, next time on Let's Play Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, I guess, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. I've still have yet decided on that. Um, alright, so, see you guys then. As soon as I'm done switching up my Pokemon, alright? So, see you guys then. <laughs>